Hey everyone, and welcome to our instructional video on how to pair your Garmin devices to AB Quantum. And I say Garmin devices because there are devices out there, not just watches, that are AB compatible, like the Montana 700, um, but there are also things like the 901 and the Tactics 8, which we'll be demonstrating today. A little bit of administrative stuff before we get started here. In order to pair a Garmin device to AB Quantum, it must be AB compatible. You can't just pair any device. For instance, the current Instinct 3s are not an AB device, so you can't pair those. Um, you can pair the 901, the Instinct 2X, you can pair the Tactics 8 and 7, the Mark Commander, but it needs to have AB software on it in order to be compatible with AB Quantum. The non-AB versions that you can't put AB on or don't come with AB are not compatible with Quantum. Another thing to note is it really needs to be a more modern device. For instance, the Fortrex 701 doesn't have the Bluetooth capabilities to integrate with a modern app, but the 901 does. So you can pair your 901 and send profiles over to it. Um, with that being said, all of the older generation stuff is only really capable of receiving a profile from AB Quantum. You cannot transfer environmental data. It will not transfer firing solutions. Um, it really is limited to sending a profile from Quantum to that device. With that being said, the Tactics 8's a little bit different. The Tactics 8 is bi-directional, so it doesn't pull environmental or target data as of this video, and I don't want to really give away some features that are coming in the next uh, couple AB Quantum upgrades, um, but it is going to have more advanced features that the older, the Sevens, the Deltas, um, the older stuff doesn't really have. And so with that being said, you're going to see some features with the Tactics 8 here that you may not have available on the Tactics 7. We're also not going to dive into a lot of those advanced features because we want to make sure that we get those out to the public in the upgrades before we show them off. So in this video we're going to show you how to pair the device. A little bit about profile transferring but not a lot else. So with that being said we actually need to leave AB Quantum and let's do that real quick here. And we need to go to Garmin Connect. I'm going to open it up. Here you can see my list of devices and what all's paired. Today we're going to demonstrate the Tactics 8, but you can see here I have other devices that aren't connected, um, other registered devices. Now in Garmin Connect, up in the top right hand corner is your device management. It's got a bunch of functions and features, but in Garmin Connect, you must have your device paired in order for Quantum to see it. And you'll see in a second that it sees all of these devices, even the Montana 700 that's not really active on this device. If it's not there, go ahead and do the add device feature function. When you first open Garmin Connect, it's going to prompt you to add your first device and you'll probably do it in that instance. But if you're a prior user and you've already had, say, a, a Tactics 7 or another Garmin device and you've upgraded to the Tactics 8, you need to add it here and make sure it's in this list inside of Garmin Connect first. Once that's done, let's go ahead and jump back to AB Quantum. I'm going to click on the devices here. You'll see devices down here as well. Um, but once that's done, you'll see all those devices are now populated here in our available devices. And in this case, we're going to we're going to click on that Tactics 8. There it is. And that's it. It's now paired to the app. That's how that's how simple it is. We have our menu button here, which gives us edit and remove. Um, you also have your edit button up here. Uh, something else to note is that you can actually just click on any one of these. You'll see it's still scanning for a device. So if I had a Kestrel or a rangefinder or something here, I can still continue to scan for others and tap those and bring them up into the active. All of these are available. I could make any of these active if I wanted to. So that's it. You can see here, um, Bluetooth shows that we're connected to the Tactics 8, and that's how you pair it. Now, I would like to show once you've paired a device like this with two-way communication, you can see here we're connected. You have a send and receive button. You'll see this on the Tactics 8, but you may not see this on, say, your Delta or some other devices because the Tactics 8 can send profiles to and receive profiles from AB Quantum. If you have any questions, please let us know. The easiest way to get a hold of us is actually if you click this little shoot button down here and you click the center navigation and then click that support button, then you can get a hold of us directly. Um, 
currently the Tactics 8 is not capable of remote view. So when I go to the remote view, you see we're on internal only. You'll see that there are no device icon buttons. It's not capable of sending uh, environmental information back and forth. But what it can do that none of the other generations of Garmin devices can do, the first one that we're showing off is you can send and receive profiles. And that's it. That's how you pair your Garmin device. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let us know. If you'd like to see how to do anything else, please let us know. And I hope you have a good day.